What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about the Sierra Designs Dry Down Sweater Jacket. I've been using this for well over a year now. I've been packing in this stuff. This is one of my favorite outdoor insulation layers. Um, you've seen it on some previous trips. I put some postings out there on Instagram and Facebook when I have used it. And it's definitely one of my favorite ones. You know, last year I reviewed the Outdoor Research Filament Jacket or sweater and it, you know, it really didn't keep me that warm compared to this Dry Down um, Sierra Design Sweater. And what I came to realize was I was grabbing this way more than the outdoor research filament when I went on backpacking trips. And for the price, you really can't go wrong. I think right now they're actually having a sale and it's around like $89, $90. Um, so you can get this at a really good price. It's super lightweight, coming in around 11 ounces. So as far as that and packability, since it is down, um, is definitely there. So you're gonna say to yourself, it's down. So once it gets wet, you're not gonna be able to stay warm. Well, if you've seen my sleeping bag reviews of the Sierra Design, um, the mobile mummy and some of the other ones I've, I've showed you, um, you'll know that this is actually water resistant treated down. So this is dry down. So if it does get wet, you know, it's gonna be re resilient to a degree, much more than untreated down. So you don't have to worry as much if you are in some sort of a, you know, a lot of moisture environment, the climate's kind of crappy. Um, you don't have to worry as much as you would with regular down. As far as the construction on this, the construction is great. Like I said, I've been using it for a year. I don't have any tears. I don't have any pulls or anything like that. The only thing I will say is it does bleed a lot of down. <laughs> so, so if you do get this, just realize that, you know, it's just like any other down garment. You know, if you use it hard, you're gonna see some down pop out of the seams and uh, it's quite normal. The one cool thing is on the end here, they actually have a thumb hole so you can put, and I have in the past where I put my thumb through there, put my glove over top, and then I have a totally, uh, you know, warm, arm all the way down you know it has a little bit of a, a collar on the top on the inside here you will see that it has a pocket uh, so you can go ahead and put some stuff on the left or the right on the left hand side you get your sierra design logo and the zippers here aren't exceptionally thin they're not small so you're gonna have a good zipper and that's the one thing i do like about it let's see they are ykk and uh, i've had no problems with that when you zip it up to the top here the cool thing is it has a garage to keep that zipper away from your beard or uh, your chin so you don't have to worry about uh, that rubbing against that area as far as the fit it's a semi fitted slash fitted so i'm six foot 210 pounds at the moment and this is a large and as i zip it even though i do have a little bit of a belly at the moment you can see you know that it's pretty um you know form fitting I wouldn't call it tight, but I wouldn't call it loose or regular. And uh, I kind of like that in this, uh, this insulation layer. You have enough that you can put something on the inside, like one of these Ibex Shack or Shack Light um, sweaters. So you can put that on the inside with a base layer, maybe a, a, a quarter zip, and put this over top, put a shell on top. You're good to go for most weather. You know, this isn't something I recommend for deep winter as far as keeping you insulated. If you're gonna look for something a little more for deep winter, this Black Diamond Cold Forge Jacket, M's Cold Forge Jacket, is something I look at because it also has uh, Prima Loft Gold on top of down. Uh, so it's a multi insulation and it's a little thicker and heavier. Um, so that's something you probably want to use deeper into the winter. But for most of the year, you know, probably like nine out of 12 months, maybe 10 out of 12 months, you know, this is definitely going to get you by, keep you warm and uh, keep you dry. So with its 800 fill power duct insulation that's dry down uh, technology coated and all that, um, it's awesome uh, craftsmanship and the fact that it has some cool stuff like a thumb hole and has pockets on the inside. It's great construction. Haven't had any problems with it in a year, been on many trips. I can definitely recommend this to you, especially with the price now at around $90. Regularly, it's around $140. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go and let me know. If you guys have Sierra Design stuff, go ahead and put it in the comments down below or better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later.